The Valdez Fly-In started out probably back in the 80s. It became this mecca of uh, short field takeoff and landing bush flying, you know, where everybody meets. All the cowboys show up, <laughs> you know, everybody shows up with their horse, you know. Okay, welcome everyone. We'll start the safety briefing for the full competition. If you have not done it somewhere else, do not do it here first. This is not the time to try the new technique. This competition uh, prepares pilots for landing off airport. Whenever you're looking for a place to land, you have to be absolutely certain about that spot. You have to be able to touch down at that spot or a little bit later and never before it. So being able to get down exactly where you want and stop as quickly as you can, uh, one is really fun in competition, but two is excellent training for flying super fast. There's a lot to it that separates some of these guys from just your normal flying around the you know, United States types of pilot. I guess that's why they come and seek me out a little bit. I've been flight instructor for about 20 years now. Like any kid, whatever his dad does, you probably don't want to do it, you know, but uh, it's the only thing I ever knew. When, you, when you're hanging around a bunch of pilots, we have a lot of pride, you know, we talk about, well, I've been flying this airplane for the last 5,000 hours, you know, and I've been in this airplane for 2,000 hours, and, you know, I learned to fly when I was 16. I've been flying since uh, I was about two weeks old. I've been flying since the headset would fit over my little baby head. I started flying with my father when I was eight years old. So I asked my dad one day, I'm like, hey, when, when was the first time I was in an airplane? And my dad looks at me and he says, son, you were conceived in an airplane. <laughs> this will be my sixth year at the Valdez Fly-In, and I've won first place in four of the five years. We have the T3 tailwheel suspension. You can find that at supercupsnorth.com. In the front here, we have the leading edge slats. They help uh, the air stay attached to the wing and help it fly at a high angle of attack. We have a 240 horsepower motor. It cruises around 85 miles an hour, but it climbs out at, uh, you know, better than anything I've ever flown in. Most of the guys that I compete with at Valdez at the Stoll competition are seasoned bush pilots that have been around the block for a long, long time. They've seen way more than I'll ever see in my life. So they, they all, give me a hard time about uh, having won in the past and I just hope that I don't run out of luck here because these guys they are certainly really good and and I don't doubt that they'll uh, come back and get me one day. All right we need to do it at 194 feet you landed 55 55 feet eight inches let's give them a wave. I've been flying in Valdez at a competition for about the last 10 years and it's been great fun but nothing has ever come close to the uh, amount of pride and fun that I had today getting to compete with my daughter in this event. I've been coming here with my dad since I was probably an infant and this year he finally convinced me to compete too. Laura J. Erb. Her first landing distance was 209 feet so we'll see if she can beat her first landing distance. And yes, that will qualify. Alright Wes, uh, proud, proud dad. Now, let's see, her, her second landing was 162. Your best landing was, if I remember right, 152? Oh, close. It, it, that's close, but uh, I, I would have to check the numbers. I think she might have beat me this year. <laughs> Getting in a Super Cub for the first time is like strapping on a set of wings and see everything from a bird's perspective and then touch down and get out and suddenly you're 100 miles from where you last were or maybe even in a place that nobody's ever been before and it's just an unreal experience. Flying up in Alaska is a lot different than flying in the lower 48 because the weather changes so rapidly, the terrain is much more varied. Having the opportunity to be a pilot in Alaska 
has you know, really defined who I am as a pilot and who I am as a person.